Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and we're out here at the God's Ten Commandment Park. I uh, just wanted to say that, from what I can tell, this little uh, geo, this little stabilizer, seems like it's working pretty well. So we'll see. I, I think last night it passed the test, so I just wanted to uh, give you a little update. It is day 60 we're of the park being open out here in God's Ten Commandment Park in Columbia Heights. And uh, I'm going to flip this around. Uh, we got the park open. If you guys are in the area or planning on coming up to the area, stop on by. We'd love to have you. And uh, we got all the Ten Commandments up finally. That's really cool. Uh, took us some time. We generally open around June, but the had to get the posts in and the, the uh, concrete and have the backing built for the sign so i'm going to flip this around and show you guys so let me see if i can do that here hold on here let's flip it around so yeah so like i said this is the god's ten commandment park we got a couple new things uh going on here uh beautiful flowers and whatnot but yeah like i said we got all of the ten commandments up it starts over there with jesus and we got commandment number one two three four five six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and then it ends with Jesus on the other side of the tent. Amen. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. And we got the crosses and whatnot. So if you're in the area, come on by. Even if you're not in the area and you're planning a trip, make sure you stop by here if you're coming up this direction to Glacier Park or to Montana or whatever. And this was the other cool addition we got this year. Um, besides fixing those signs, these planters were built right here. This one and this one. We had those signs up here and just some gravel down and the... Uh, we usually weed those every year or whatnot, but that gentleman came out and he used these rocks and made a wonderful planter and it's gonna say, we're gonna get some aluminum or steel or some type of something to make a little template. It's gonna say, Jesus saves, right there. Jesus saves. But yeah, he did a wonderful job. Let me just pretend you're walking into the Ten Commandment Park here and you want to come get your free magnet and sticker. You just come in here. And it's just beautiful. And you can see some of the things that we have on display. I think the American flag and my wife's little, little uh, trike and our Christian flag. And then everybody that comes by, free, one per vehicle, Ten Commandment magnet, and they can pick out a sticker. Amen. So come on by, join us. Little welcome sign here. And we got the tent revivals going on every night. So yeah, so I'm also kind of testing this stabilizer. I have the phone on, which keeps it from moving uh, from side to side. So I'm just holding it, it goes right in my hand. And then I, I'm trying to give you guys a better uh, v-blogging experience. So when you come in, you'll see this stuff. You'll see we have all kinds of magnets and such. And hello. Hi, Amy. God bless you. And that's a wall that was just a regular wall. And we put a four by eight banner up there, vinyl banner, which you can get yourself. And you just staple it to the wall. And then that wall is now making a wonderful statement. So you'd come into the Ten Commandment Park. We would have you sign in. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, everybody. Sign in right there. And then we'll give you a Philip and Susie's card. And then you would get to pick from one of these Ten Commandment magnets, one of our most popular, one of two of our most popular Ten Commandment magnets, free for every vehicle, every family that comes through here. Um, basically the same, except you got red on top, purple on top. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And then with God, all things are possible. And then you would choose one of your free uh, bumper stickers from this rack right here. What happens in Vegas, God knows. I just love that. You need Jesus, all kinds of stuff. There's another one down here, eternity. Smoking or non-smoking, amen? <laughs> then we also have a couple more stickers down here on this shelf, the free two shelves. You could also kind of go through those. Anyway, that's what we do. So yeah, it seems like this thing kind of passed the test. Um, 
it's like a stabilizer so if I turn my hand at least you guys are still kind of in center I mean it's still shaky because I'm walking and it's only a one access uh, what do they call it gimbal I think is the correct term but yeah works all right so if you guys need anything at all if you'd like to contact us to get any of these magnets or banners for your church or an outreach or your property all you got to do is reach out to us at 1-855-70-JESUS if you need prayer at all um, we're going to be going live tomorrow night at 6 p.m mountain time with the revival over there and i don't know if you've ever had a tour of the tent recently i might as well walk over there and uh, show you that too and kind of just also see how this thing goes you see i'm turning it left to right and you saw my finger right there and uh yeah not too bad so i can go around if i go slow it seems to be pretty steady but the camera is still horizontally you know correct so i guess that's horizontal yeah so anyway, if you were to come out here, here's our little tent. It's not too little. It's a 30 by 40. Uh, was borrowed from a local church up here, Pastor Luke, and um, I think Cornerstone Church up here, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, we used to have one, three sides up, but the wind kind of got to us one night. We had some gale force winds, and it really started to put some stress and take the poles out on this side so we just took the wind out or that side out so that the wind can just blow through freely because it does get really windy up here and uh yeah so there's the tent when you come into the tent we'll put our bibles and the song books right here and yeah grab a seat this is where we go live from and then you walk in and jesus said I am the way, the truth, and the life, and he's come with open arms, welcome me into the tent. Then we got all the names of God back here. So yeah, I'm just, we cover the speakers up, the weather and whatnot, and then, yeah, so, and here's the view from the pulpit. The pulpit would sit right about here, somewhere, and then that's it, and this is where we have revival. It's just wonderful, isn't that beautiful? So God bless you guys, and then you come out, pray for us, got a lot of stuff to do. I think we might have grass coming in this year at the end of the season, which would be October, somewhere in there. We got to get rid of some rocks, want to just get this place more and more beautiful for visitors and for the Lord. All righty. So God bless you all. If you need anything at all, give us a call at 1-855-70-JESUS. This is Pastor Scott checking out, trying out this new uh, phone stabilizer, turning it left and right all the way around. And uh, yeah, seems pretty good. Let's go this way. Yeah. I think it'll give you guys a better viewing experience. I mean, it's only a single axis, so it only does the horizontal. Not all the others up and down and forward and backwards, so it's not going to be like super cool like they might use at a concert or something, but still pretty cool. So send us your comments as to what you think if this is, is this helpful or not? And if you need any, anything at all, give us a call. Reach out to us at 1-855-70-JESUS or log on to our website and go to the prayer request tab at oneaccordcrusades.com. And if you're interested in any of this stuff that I mentioned at the God's Ten Commandment Park, just reach out to us. Amen. Uh, and we'll hook you up. We'll get you stuff in the mail uh, in the United States. Any of, And we could probably ship to the world, but it's just depending on the, the uh, country and whatnot. And shipping is quite expensive because these magnets and such are heavy but the banners do and we can if not you have them here and then take them with you so god bless you guys we love you i'm gonna go get into my reading and uh, we'll see you later yeah pretty cool i like it i think it's a pass as far as this goes uh from amazon 
I'm going to give it a three and a half stars. I don't know if they go to four, but whatever. Maybe three if it goes to four, or it would be a five if there's a five. Um, it's, it's pretty good. All righty. We'll see how long it lasts as we put this stuff to the test out here with our ministry being pretty much seven days a week, <clears throat> almost all day, except for Sunday. All right. So six days a week. Shh.